Hey Cupcakes, thank you so much for checking out this Self Love September resource. This one is all about being the black sheep of the fucking family. I know a lot about this from personal experience and the black sheep is an archetype that I have been really interested in because of some of my own experiences. So it's really nice to be able to make a video where I can collect some of my thoughts together and hopefully have them be useful to anybody who feels like they are just waking up to the fact that they are the black sheep of their family or they've long known it but they haven't really been able to deal with it very well. I'm thinking specifically obviously about dealing with embodying this archetype self-lovingly so hopefully some of these insights that I'm going to posit to you will be useful if you feel like you're at a point in your life where you or someone that you know might really need to think more about this role and what it means and how we can be empowered in our role as the black sheep of the family. So I want to start by saying that the term black sheep is commonly thought to be used because black sheep are actually worthless on sheep farms usually. Black wool can't be dyed. So the idea is that a black sheep is worthless, a black sheep is inconvenient, a black sheep is not really a good member of the flock because they are not really economically viable. They're disappointing. They're a disappointment to the farmer. They're not what the farmer wants to see in the flock. So normally the idea is that the black sheep kind of stems from that. That phraseology stems from the idea of the black sheep being an inconvenient member of the flock, not being actually valuable, not being uh, a member that is useful and that makes the farmer smile, basically. <laughs> I did a little bit of research as well on the whole biblical side of things because I have heard um, long, long ago, many moons ago in the past, people saying that we use the term black sheep because of some kind of biblical context. So I looked into that and apparently there is this story in the Bible about this guy Jacob and he removes all of the black sheep from the flock in one of the stories in the Bible but he doesn't actually do this for any negative reason he doesn't do this because the black sheep is seen as lesser than or you know um, you know like devilish or anything of that nature he merely does it because he just wants all of the white sheep together so he can prove that he didn't steal any of the white sheep or something like that obviously I haven't read the story firsthand but I read on the internet that there is this story where the black sheep are removed from the flock but it's really not for a negative reason it's more just so that Jacob can prove his integrity and his honour in 1640 there was this guy called Thomas Shepard who was a Puritan who had emigrated to America and he wrote a book called The Sincere Convert and inside the pages of The Sincere Convert is believed to be the very first quote that relates black sheep to something evil or satanic or ungodly in biblical terms and the line from The Sincere Convert goes a little bit like this cast out all the profane people among us the drunkards swearers whores liars which the scripture brands for black sheep and condemn them in a hundred places. So it kind of seems like what dear Thomas the Puritan is trying to say here is that the Bible actually names these people, these liars, these prostitutes, these drunkards, etc., undesirables, ungodly folk, as black sheep in a hundred places in the Bible. Which is weird, because in the research that I did, it said that there was only really one mention of black sheep, you know, and, and that whole um, scenario playing out, and that was with the story of Jacob, where the black sheep are removed, but it's not for a bad reason. So that was kind of an interesting little learning curve for me. I thought I should do some research on where that term black sheep actually came from. By the way, for any of you who have been observant and noticed, I am indeed back in black ACDC style, but it is not because I was filming this black sheep video. That's just a really tasty coincidence there. <laughs> if anyone's wondering who's on my t-shirt, it's actually David Bowie who in his own way I feel really kind of embraced and ran with his own position as the black sheep. A black sheep of the family is normally a family member who is going to be a disappointment by default because they are just different. They are different in terms of the way that they approach things, their beliefs might be different, their personality is generally different to the personality or range of personalities which form the bulk of the family dynamic. A black sheep is going to be a member of the family that does cause a sense of disappointment or concern or uncertainty or even a sense of danger among other family members. A black sheep is going to be certainly a member of the family that doesn't toe the line, doesn't usually pick up the script, the family script for the play, you know, that is carried out every time family dynamics ensue. A black sheep is going to be someone that is marching very much to the beat of their own drum. They might be doing it in a destructive way or they might be doing it in a really healthy, happy-go-lucky way just because it's who they are. They might be doing it in a uber-rebellious 
this way to actually cause trouble and, and make a nuisance of themselves but equally they might just be making a nuisance of themselves by being different and actually there's really nothing that they can do to stop the sense of alienation that they feel from being just different to the rest of the family there is a, an idea that the black sheep is an inconvenient family member this family member is just not fitting in with what the rest of the members of the family would would like them to fit into this family member sticks out like a sore thumb this family member often makes other family members feel uncomfortable or irritated and a lot of other family members would look at a black sheep and just think you know what why can't you just do what you're supposed to do why can't you just be in the shape that we want you to be in why can't you just read your fucking lines stick with the script like we all do and don't be such an inconvenience don't be such a rebel don't be such a dot 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 you know x y and z so that's kind of the the vibe and the energy that a black sheep will bring into the family dynamic but it's very often not intentional it is very often something that a black sheep can't actually help you know it's just the way that they are they are living outside of those lines they are a familial outlaw the first time that i heard the term black sheep was when my mother attributed it to me in my early teens and i was certainly dropping the script at that time it was clearly obvious that i was not going to be somebody who was going to brush things under the rug and not talk about certain things and treat certain subjects as taboo it was clear that i was somebody who wanted to be open and honest and upfront a lot more so than other members of my family did i wanted to get very shadowy family situations out on the fucking table i didn't want us to be all hush hush about things that had gone on in the past or things that had hurt people i felt like we ought to discuss it and i felt like it ought to be a part of the fabric of our reality as a family and of course that very much makes somebody into a black sheep if everybody else is into the idea of emotional suppression and pretending that things haven't gone on and haven't happened and lying and skeletons being shoved firmly into the closet so i was definitely an inconvenience to my family I also started to deal with mental health issues at that age. I became very depressed. I certainly wasn't into slapping a smile on it and presenting this idea of myself as being successful at school and happy with friends, etc. That was not on my radar. That was not something that I was even thinking of doing. I had really deep issues. I was so much deeper in the shit than any ability that I might previously have had to kind of slap a smile on it and pretend everything was okay and be somebody, be a member of the family that other family members could be proud of and could show off essentially so I definitely was dropping the script from that age and focusing more on just how to get myself out of the mental health shit that I was in and I was dressing differently I was dressing intentionally provocatively I was listening to music that no one else in the family ever wanted to listen to or got the hang of um, my sexuality was different in a way that no other member of the family could relate to and I came out fairly early I was naturally a rebel I was naturally a maverick etc all of those things I also had incredibly strong opinions and I didn't want to be backwards and coming forwards with them if you see what I mean that's uh, I don't know if you have that saying uh, anywhere else in the world but in England it just means I didn't want to be subtle I didn't want to be um, meek and mild I wanted to step forward and own my power and own my voice these things as well were hugely inconvenient so certainly I was the black sheep there's no doubt about that and my mum attributed that phrase to me because she said that when she was growing up she was the black sheep of her family and she always remained somewhat the black sheep of her family her ways of dealing with it changed etc but essentially she recognized that she was playing that role and so she could really see it in me and once I learned that phrase and what it meant a lot of things started to come together for me a lot of things started to make sense for me the black sheep of the family will usually be somebody who actually carries the family shadow and they embody the family shadow they are usually representative of a theme or a number of themes that the rest of the family do not want to confront that they want to suppress that they want to hide from or deny in themselves that person who is on about those things or who embodies those things or who is not afraid to talk about those things will therefore end up carrying the weight of all of the other shadows from different family members who want to suppress and want to hide and want to deny so the black sheep of the family often deals with accusations often deals with a lot of resentment a lot of frustration and a lot of fear is taken out on the black sheep of the family because they are seen as the living embodiment of everything that the other members of the family are trying to run from or don't want any anything to do with if I'm talking
working and you're resonating with this and you're thinking shit actually that is me i am the embodiment of the family shadow or a bunch of different family shadows then you may also realize that you are often used as a scapegoat you are often somebody to whom the other people can point to and attribute blame to and that has probably been something that has been painful for you on your life journey so far and also maybe perplexing maybe somewhat discombobulating maybe you're there thinking what the fuck why am i the one to blame why am i the one that's having everything taken out on me but if you are a a sticking post of sorts for other people's shadow that they don't want to deal with and you somewhat embody those things and are maybe accepting of those things that other members of the family don't want to deal with then it stands to reason that you're also going to be in some ways a scapegoat figure you're going to be someone that other family members can look to when they're trying to attribute blame the way that you are might very well make family members feel awkward it might make them feel uncomfortable it might make them feel like they have to confront things that they actually really don't want to confront you might have certain personality traits or certain skills or certain opinions that other family members have been much more well trained to suppress or to ignore or to kind of blot out of their beingness so that they can uh, kind of mesh themselves into the family dynamic so they can harmonize with the family dynamic if you are the individual that has decided that it is more important to be authentic than to kind of harmonize with the family dynamic then you are going to be a figure that could create some sense of awkwardness or shame um, or discomfort in other family members who look at the way you are and think that's not the way I'm supposed to be that's the way I always try not to be so that figure in the family is really fucking annoying to me or really scary to me or makes me feel uncomfortable because they bring me to a sense of the very things that I want to deny have nothing to do with me and that I want to see myself as having no part of and that is a lot of what the narrative is when it comes to a black sheep in the family much of the time if there's a black sheep in the family then there could also be another key role another archetype in the family and that could be the archetype of the golden child the golden child is usually this polar opposite of the black sheep and very often it is a sibling but sometimes it can be a cousin or it can be some other member of the family usually in the same generation or very kind of closer in age than other members of the family are the golden child holds this directly oppositional energy to the energy of the black sheep and very often these two characters are pitted against each other they are encouraged to compete obviously the relationship that exists between a black sheep and a golden child is going to be incredibly strained but usually it's not the fault of either the black sheep or the golden child you know and it's not normally even the fault of just one particular family family member who is driving this um, competitive adversarial connection between these two people it's more like the machine of the family dynamics that does it and obviously every circumstance is different and you might look at your own family situation and you might actually very clearly see that there is a black sheep and a golden child even if neither of those figures is actually you and you might think yeah there is one person that's actually kind of driving this but for a lot of people there really isn't one person that's driving it it's more a number of different dynamics that are subsets of the overall family dynamic and it's like a fucking machine that is operating and that is playing out and it kind of takes for a few different people to become conscious of what is happening in order for the family dynamic to continue without those nasty elements but even if just the black sheep alone recognizes that they are a part of this machine they recognize then that they are a cog in that machine and they do not have to react to what that machine is doing to them anymore they can either step out of the machine completely or they can recognize that they don't have to react emotionally in the same way that they had been doing because they're now aware of what is going on with the machine they are now actually wise to the way that they are being treated and why they're being treated that way and that means they can choose different ways of reacting different ways of dealing with what they're going through within the family dynamic as a black sheep sometimes you have to make the decision as to whether or not you're going to spend time around the golden child whether or not you're going to invest energetically and emotionally into your relationship with the golden child or whether or not it's actually dangerous for you and bad for your mental well-being to do that the other thing that i've noticed over time about these two archetypal roles of the black sheep and the golden child is that they're not actually set in stone a lot of the time these two roles are interchangeable and that is really fucking weird and that can happen as well where you will be the black sheep maybe not of your family overall but maybe the black sheep in the eyes of your parents for example and one of your siblings will be the golden child and then suddenly because of life choices 
that you've made and because of the way that things have gone in your lives the roles will flip and you will suddenly be the golden child and the other one will be the black sheep and your parents will be heaping the disappointment and the anger and the resentment and the tension onto the other sibling and you will suddenly have your chance to shine and suddenly have your chance to be in the limelight and a lot of the time that's when you realize that being the golden child isn't really much better because there's all of this pressure and you feel like you can't be authentic and you feel like you're going to lose it all if you make a wrong move so it's quite illuminating sometimes to have the the roles flipped and to actually be given different scripts and be like shit now I'm the golden child and you're the one that's getting all of this shit from the parents or whatever so there is definitely a um, a changeability in those two roles and that can be really messed up as well to realize that your position is not actually set in stone and that the love that you are receiving from a parental figure or from other members of the family is actually based more on approval than it is based on this unconditional desire to just love your kinfolk your family your people People with the same DNA as you so when you realize that the love and the approval and the kindness that you're receiving is based on you doing the right things making the right choices falling into line then you also realize that your position is not set in stone and actually neither is anyone else's and that can be a scary thing as well. So I'm not saying that every single dynamic that includes a black sheep is the same. Sometimes we find that we were the black sheep for a long time, but maybe we made these choices that kind of lifted us up in the eyes of family members. We became elevated because the life choices that we made seemed to represent certain qualities or characteristics that are innately approved of by the family. And then suddenly they love us and suddenly they want us to come in. I know that a lot of people have this kind of thing when they finally have children when they finally settle down and have children they are now no longer the black sheep suddenly all of these extended members of the family want to spend time with them and are very approving of the life choices that they've made and actually they themselves as an individual have not changed they still hold the same views they still want the same things out of life but they happen to have settled down and had children or they happen to have gotten themselves a really good career and gotten a little bit of money in their back burner and suddenly everyone in the family wants to play ball everybody is like yes come in we approve of you so these things can really fuck a person up for sure when these things happen when these dynamics shift if you have realized that you are the black sheep in your family and you know that you want to have a relationship with your family or certainly with several members of your family then i think it's important to find your center find your truth know that you are always going to be your authentic self obviously it can be really hard not to take your position as a marginalized member of the family really personally but a lot of the time it's about realizing that the dynamics that have occurred that have made you into the black sheep are actually much bigger than you there's so much more to it than just you it's what you represent it's what you symbolize and if you can get your head around that and if you can start to love yourself for who you are and recognize that you want to be authentic for yourself then there is a high likelihood that you can begin to take the treatment from your family members a lot less personally and you can refuse to allow it to affect you as much as it had been previously affecting you and this is how a lot of people that are kind of slapped with the role of black sheep tend to be able to still spend time around their family members and actually thrive as a member of their family without taking things so much to heart and without everything being such a struggle and such an uphill battle. Only you can decide the extent to which you're going to allow the feelings of alienation and the feelings of being targeted to affect you and to have that deep effect on you. If you know in your heart of hearts that you are not yet ready to feel feel as though you you don't have to take these things personally and you can be a functioning member of the family whilst realizing that it's what you represent that causes these behaviors rather than you yourself then you may need to step back from family situations you may need to spend less time with your family and everyone's got to go on their own journey to figure out how much time they can spend in a family situation when they recognize that they are playing the role of the black sheep there are a lot of people that actually learn techniques and they learn to be with themselves during family situations so that they can recognize that yes they do play that role but it doesn't have to be something that completely mars and ruins their experiences of being around their family members and it is something that they can see in more of a transpersonal and symbolic way than taking it really really personally which maybe they had been doing previously a lot of the time a black sheep in a family as they grow up they start to realize more and more about why they were treated that way why they've been consistently marginalized and why they seem to present such a thorn in the side
side for so many of their family members and so they actually start to come to this more illuminated and as I said more transpersonal way of seeing the situation in which they place themselves and the other weird thing is that as families mature and as people grow older a lot of the time a black sheep starts to be seen more for who they really are and they, they start to be understood and accepted more by members of the family who did previously marginalize them so there can be these moments and these really interesting time periods where different family members who previously did resent each other or misunderstand each other start to find this incredible sense of common ground so I'm not saying it's about holding out and hoping that that will happen or anything but I'm saying that it is definitely possible it's certainly something that I've seen happen time and time again and that's been another really interesting thing about this specific archetype and the interest that I've personally taken in it as a black sheep you've kind of got to realize that your behavior could be seen as threatening or uncomfortable or unpleasant or undesirable even if objectively it's fucking amazing <laughs> so for example you might want to go off to university and study a subject and you're really passionate about it it's what you really want to do you want to get balls deep in the academia of it but your family might really disapprove of that because they might be the kind of family where nobody's been to uni before and where that is considered to be something that is not a part of that family's dynamic maybe they can't relate to it maybe they find you less relatable as a result of you wanting to go off and do this studying maybe they see it as something that is not part of their class that is not part of what they are capable of financially and so you suddenly present this threat you present this this alien life force this weird otherworldly energy um, that they might see as an energy which makes them feel judged or makes them feel like they're not good enough so even though objectively it's amazing that you've got these great grades and you want to go to uni and you want to do something that's really to do with your passion and stuff you might still end up finding that your family do not agree with what you're doing they don't want to support what you're doing they feel intimidated by what you're doing a black sheep ends up being a black sheep for all kinds of weird fucking reasons it's not just the case that a black sheep is like a rebel without a cause who's constantly in trouble and constantly making a nuisance of themselves although that can be the case certainly there are black sheep who just um, end up losing their way and end up really going against the grain um, in a way that involves criminality in a way that involves high risk situations high risk life choices that leave the family feeling shattered by the fear that they feel that they're going to lose this black sheep member of the family who's doing all of this crazy shit it can involve prison time it can involve those things for sure but a black sheep is not just that a black sheep is just somebody who is inconvenient in terms of towing the family line following the fucking script reading their lines in the play that is the family dynamic and that can happen in all kinds of different ways sometimes the black sheep of the family is the black sheep of the family because they're willing to open up and talk about their emotions they're willing to show how they feel deep down inside and for a family where emotions are suppressed and where that is not considered to be a good look that person will become the black sheep of the family that person will carry the family shadow of emotional suppression you know a black sheep of the family could be somebody with a very very creative spirit somebody who wants to paint who wants to dance you know who wants to involve themselves in all these different kinds of artistic self-expression and for a family that is very much based more on elevating the scientific and the logical and the strategic etc then they might look at that individual and think well this is an inconvenience and this isn't really what we wanted and we can't relate to this kid and why can't this kid be more like this and so you'll grow up being marginalized just purely because of the kinds of things you're interested in and how that doesn't really reflect what a lot of your family dynamic is set up to celebrate and include. Politics can be a reason why you end up the black sheep of the family. Religion and leaving the family religion can be a reason why you end up the black sheep as well. There are all of these different um, these different ways of getting there. Just because members of your family don't understand your life choices, just because they don't approve of your partner that you've chosen or the way that you raise your kids, that doesn't mean that you have to feel negative about those things. You don't if anything it is your duty to celebrate them all the more and to give all of the love that you can give to those people you've chosen in your life and those passions that you have really captured and harnessed and loved in your life you've got to honor those things all the more if your family refuse to do that it's really about like I said centering in your authenticity recognizing that these things make you happy and that you are being genuine and true
truthful in the way that you are living your life and that you don't need your family to co-sign on the decisions you're making, the partner you're marrying, the career you're going after. You've got to realise that you can sign those pieces of paper to say that you have the permission to live life the way that you want to. And that is incredibly powerful. And for those people who are always supported in their life choices by members of their family, those people never really often experience the challenge in life of having to sign off on their own shit. You know, if people always have this very approving, captive audience in their family who are constantly applauding their life choices and saying, yes, you know, you're so great, we're so proud of you, then they never really develop that incredible skill of being able to stand up against adversity and say, you know what, I'm me and I'm doing me and I'm allowed to do that. It's a strength and you've got to see it as a strength. Being the black sheep in a way and coming to terms with that really puts you in touch with your courage. It puts you in touch with your deepest and truest authenticity. It makes you into the kind of person that can say, you know what, I don't need you to sign off on it. I've signed off on it. I'm being genuine about it. It is what I want and I can go forward with or without your blessing. That is strong. That is fucking courageous. And you get that from being the black sheep. You get that from being marginalized. I'm not saying it doesn't hurt. I'm not saying it doesn't cause a lot of pain. But at the same time, there are great boons. It can be very psycho-spiritually advantageous to be the black sheep and to kick ass and take names being the black sheep. And don't forget as well that being the black sheep of the family also can help you in some ways to empathise with people who feel alienated, who feel marginalised, who feel disenfranchised. There is a bond sometimes between black sheep that come from different families and there is a sense that black sheep have that they want to fight for justice for the marginalised and fight for justice for the misunderstood and that makes them also into really potent really really awesome meaningful members of society important members of their community people who really create change for those who are feeling down on their luck or struggling or feeling really marginalized and unable to get the care that they need or, or have their voice heard you know it's often black sheep that come along and try and do that good work to elevate those unheard voices are you going to be a black sheep that helps to elevate other people's voices are you already a black sheep that has found that that position in your family has led you to a place where you want to elevate other people's voices Voices. Black sheep from different flocks end up being friends, they end up being allies, they end up being creative colleagues, creative partners, um, lovers. You know, black sheep do find each other um, and that's something really beautiful to consider as well. You can make great things happen when you're coming from the mentality of a bunch of people who've been black sheep and thinking about what you want to build from those experiences. Finally, I just want to end by reiterating something that I said earlier in the video, and that is that black sheep don't have the privilege and the pleasure of having cheerleading from members of their family. So they have to go really, really deep to harness the cheerleading and the allyship that can only really come from self and take some time to think about that. If this black sheep video has resonated with you, I really urge you to think about how the lack of cheerleading and support and approval, which comes from your family, can now be found deep inside yourself. And that could certainly be a part of your spiritual work at this point in your life. And if you've done that deep spiritual work, maybe it's time for you to teach another black sheep how to do the same. Thank you so much for listening to this resource. Please comment below if you are the black sheep of your family, if you have experiences that you would like to share if you are the golden child of your family similarly let's hear from you um, let's hear from anyone out there who has found that this topic has resonated with them in some way I would love to be able to read your stories as well and don't forget that you can use the hashtags that I've provided for this year self love sept and self love stories to discuss your own opinions on this on your own platforms too much love guys and blessed be space <laughs> <laughs> just set up here